so today is the first, uh, chapter 1 first order pd lecture 3 in uh, today's lecture i am going to teach all the general form of the first order pd in that we will see the order cosilinear pd semilinear pd li what is linear and non linear pds okay so let me start now general form of the first order pd pd is what partial differential equation by a partial differential equation pd we uh, we mean an equation of the form this okay now this is the equation and take it as one f of x comma y comma t comma up to so on theta comma theta x comma theta y comma up to theta x t up to so on is equal to zero okay and i have considered this equation as one equation one okay Continuation of this, okay. After this, you will have to uh, write down this. Involving two or more independent variable x, comma y, comma t, etc. One dependent variable theta of x, comma y, comma t up to so on belongs to C n in some domain D and its partial derivative theta x, theta y up to so on, theta x, x, comma theta x, t up to so on, where C n now this cn denotes the set of functions okay set of functions possessing continuous partial derivatives of order n a pd is thus a relation between the dependent variable theta and sum of its partial derivative at every point x comma y comma t up to so on in d that is the domain next uh, let us see the definition of an order an order of partial differential equation is the order of the derivative of the highest order n occurring in the equation. So here, an order of the partial different PD equation, okay, partial differential equation is the order of the derivative of the highest order. So here we are uh, seeing the highest order, okay. Now let us take the example of it. Now, theta x, y, t, how we write in this differentiation form? Dow 3 theta dou x dou y dou t right order is 3 here so plus here e raised to power of x y dou 3 theta dou uh, dou t 3 okay so this is the third derivative right plus sine of x into theta dou theta by dou t raised to power of 2 is equal to 0 now here you all can see this is written in this form okay this part and this part i have written in this there is how many t three t's right so that's why it is dou t cube and here it is c x y t i have written in this form plus e raised to power of x y right it has it is then this is 3 okay t 3 times plus sine of x write it as it theta right is uh, write it as it is now square is there so dou theta upon dou t square is equal to 0 now here what is the highest order 3 3 is the highest right <clears throat> here 3 is the highest and 2 is also there but 3 is the highest so we have taken order 3 order as 3 highest order let us see the definition of the cosilinear now. Uh, cosilinear PD. Okay. A PD that is a partial differential equation is said to be cosilinear if the derivative of the highest order which occurs in the equation are linear. Okay. So a PD is said to be cosilinear. When the PD is said to be cosilinear, if the derivative of the highest order which occurs in the equation are linear. <coughs> Are uh, linear okay it should be linear now next uh, definition let us see what is the semi linear pd a quasi linear pd that is partial differential equation is said to be semi linear if the coefficient of the highest order derivative do not contain do not contain either the dependent variable or its derivative so it does not contain dependent variable or its derivative this do not contain either the derivative of its dependent variable or its derivatives. Next, 
let us see the definition of uh, a linear pd okay a semi linear pd that is partial differential equation is said to be linear if it is linear in the dependent variable and its derivative so it should be uh, linear okay it should be linear in the dependent variable and its derivative then you can say a semi linear pd is said to be linear if it is linear in this part is very important if it is linear in the dependent variable and its derivative next is the definition of a non linear pd a pd which is not quasi linear okay a pd if it is not quasi linear pd then you can say that it is a non linear pd okay so it is not uh, not a quasi linear for the, a non linear pd is not a quasi linear whereas this is okay so that time you can say it is non linear okay next uh, let us see we are concerned in this chapter with partial differential uh, differential equations of first order with one dependent variable z and mostly two independent variable x and y we follow the notation p is equal to zx and q is equal to zy we can then write the most general p first order pd in the form f of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to 0 partial differential equation arises in a large variety of subject in geometry physics mathematics and etc so let me take some of the example in this so first example is this so in let us uh, see the example theta xx plus theta yy plus theta zz is equal to 0 so here it is a linear pd which i have already wrote here now why it is linear pd what is the linear definition a semi linear pd is said to be linear if it is linear in the dependent variable and its derivative right so that's why it is a linear pd now second one is what sin of x theta x plus e raised to power of x y theta x y minus 7 theta z square is equal to 0 now highest order derivative is linear and do not contain dependent uh, variable theta so it is a semi linear now let us see the definition of the semi linear again it do not contain either the dependent variable or its derivative okay so highest or derivative linear and do not contain dependent variables so it is semi linear so next is uh, so it is semi linear right yeah third example is what sin x theta x plus e raised to power of x y theta into theta x y minus 7 theta z is equal to 0 now this is a quasi linear but not semi linear since highest order uh, since higher order term has dependent variable so i marked everything fourth is what sin of x theta x plus e raised to power of x y theta x y minus 7 theta z is equal to 0 now this is the linear now let us uh, see the fifth one sin x theta theta x plus e raised to power of x y theta x y minus 7 theta z square put a bracket here i didn't put bracket here okay now next is yeah so now this is a semi linear but not linear okay since uh, theta z square okay because of this see the sixth part sin x theta theta x plus e raised to power of x y theta x y square minus 7 theta z square is equal to 0 non this is non linear okay because it is not quasi linear right a pd is a uh, pd which is not quasi linear is called non uh, linear pd right now pd is divided into two parts where it is non linear and quasi linear okay now quasi linear is what is said to be semi linear right so i have given you all the definition of the uh, this thing quasi linear when a uh, when this pd is said to be quasi linear if the derivative of the highest order which occurs in equation are linear 
okay that time it is quasi linear now quasi linear pd is said to be semi linear now this quasi linear is said to be semi linear if the coefficient of the highest order derivative do not contain contain either the dependent variable or its derivative now a semi linear pd is said to be linear now this semi linear pd is said to be linear if it is linear in the dependent variable and its derivative okay and a pd which is not quasi linear pd is said to be non linear next is first order pd with one dependent variable and mostly two independent variable x and y variable x and y now um, what is the general form f of x comma y comma z comma zx comma zy where p is equal to what this dou z by dou x now what is dou z by dou x is nothing but zx this one and q is equal to dou z by dou y which is nothing but zy okay so with this i am done with today's lecture in the next lecture i will be doing surface of revolution and thanks for watching